former President Donald Trump's attorneys. Their application to Colorado Supreme Court said he never swore to support Constitution of United States and therefore in accordance with Chapter 2024 Tay said he should not be barred from presidential elections province. Three of the change. In the New York financial case, an executive from Deutsche Bank testified about the bank's favorable credit rates to Trump and its decision to part ways with one of its most famous clients. Here are latest developments in legal cases involving the man who wants to return to White House. Trump's lawyers say Trump never swore to support the Constitution key players Colorado Supreme Court. Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington. Colorado District Judge Sarah Wallace applications submitted by Trump and Cruz lawyers to Colorado. Supreme Court this week expressed opposing views on whether Trump's role in uprising at Congress. Building on January 6 violated his oath of office and Constitution's 14th. The Change 3. Article 3 prohibits those who have been found to be involved in insurrection or rebellion activities and have previously sworn to support the Constitution. Trump's lawyers, however, argued that this is not feasible because of the president's reputation and oath text. Instead, the lawyers said Trump swore to protect, protect and defend the Constitution. Representing six Colorado voters who objected to Wallace's decision that Trump's name could remain on the state ballot papers, Crew argued that Trump's argument was merely semantic. In a briefing to court, Crew repeatedly tells us that the Constitution is an office of presidency. The natural meaning of the United States officer is anyone who owns a federal office and natural interpretation of oath to support Constitution also includes stronger presidential oath to protect, protect and defend Constitution. The court scheduled a hearing on December 6 to hear the allegations regarding the matter, why it matters no matter what Colorado Supreme Court decides. Its verdict will likely be appealed and the case will likely go to U.S. Supreme Court. At heart of case is question of what limitations Constitution imposes on presidential authority. Deutsche Bank chief says he has ended his relationship with Trump key players former Deutsche Bank. Chief Executive Rosemary Verablick, New York Attorney General Letitia James, Judge Arthur Engeron according to ABC News. The court testified on Wednesday that Verablick, Trump's Washington D. C. In 2012, he saw evidence he expressed concern that his purchase of old post office building would be public and feared deal would make public proper loan terms offered by bank public. It's not a matter of credit, but we want to be prepared if other customers see it and want the same offer. In his statement, Verablick said, he was President of United States, and in future he would also be President of United States and Banks' attitude was that he did not want to I.